Hello everybody, I'm Bones, welcome to another Let's Play. Today we are doing Witch Hunt. Now this is a interesting game. I went in without knowing that much about it. Um, the developer I know is very active uh, when he does his games, so that's good right off the bat. Yes. When demons slaughtered my family, I decided to devote my life to def fighting evil. At first, I was motivated by vengeance. Understandable. Then I met a man who showed me the right way. Recently, I heard that in a small town called Belleville, people started to disappear and get killed by some creature. I immediately went to that town. Something big attacked me on my way to Belleville. I was able to scare it off, but my horse ran away with most of my supplies. Luckily, I was able to get to town on foot. I do like that they give you enough time to read it, and at your leisure, you get to save and continue. That's, ooh, quite pretty, actually. The, uh, the lighting is really good, and you can see here that it's very smooth and fluid. I don't even think I have this on max settings. And, oh, that's bad news to start with. It looks like a hung witch with a steel, uh... No, that is just a sack overhead. Ugh. So let's see. We're gonna take a little look around. Hey, I think I have what you need. Well, then I am fine with you having what I need. Oh, we definitely want a silver crucifix if you can buy that puppy. So the first one was free. We have 50 coins, one lockpick, some mana, silver bullets, silver crucifixes. I don't know what watcher totems are. Okay, so they're different. Interesting. So you have things that seem like they're skills and the form of books you can buy. I like that. Uh, okay. Okay. I also like this here in this game. I wish more games did this. That they you can buy a pack of silver bullets instead of just per silver bullet. Um, I think it's placed looking at the current direction of a creature that you're hunting, giving you a hint about the creature's position. Total rotation does not get updated, it's in use only. Okay, so basically those are my eyes and ears if I need them. A compass, I feel like that's a must-have, and an ammo thing when I get it. Bounty Hunter license. Uh, we're gonna save up for that puppy, because I want that. Um, I am really excited, guys, to give this a try. Uh, we can right off the bat get this one, which you're gonna get. Uh, you'll no longer receive any fall damage. So, I do like that skills are in the form of that. Now, I don't know what else I can get from this village. Um, okay, okay. So, these are skills I have right now. Darkness Sense. Gives you the passive ability to sense great evil. The closer you are to your target, the faster your heart will be. Darkness Sense activates such a time. The skill needs mana to work. Evil Sight gives you the ability to see through the eyes of a creature that you're looking for. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, so, you can click this one to watch a tutorial. Alright, so I gotta listen to my heartbeat is what this is telling me. And the closer I get to something evil. Uh, that looks like a flintlock rifle, so that gives me an idea that I'm in Victorian times. Can you say Hamilton? Hamilton. Uh, and oh, they are, that's a baddie. Holy shit, look at how fast that thing moves. Okay. Oh, sweet Jesus, I can tell already I'm going to be jumping. Uh, there's some cool skills here that I don't have that I already see I'm going to love getting, like... Fast Reload, Power of Nature, Healing Plants, Equipped, Winterfield Musket, Flintlock Pistol, Silver Saber. Uh, so let's start with our journal. Okay, so we got that down. Let's look for tips. Okay, when your heart starts to beat, it's best to change your running direction from time to time until it's beating faster to burn the right direction. 
Switching weapons is faster than remoting. That is important to note in a game like this. Also, thank you to the dev for giving us some tips. It's better to stick to your firearms and use a saber only as a last resort weapon. In other words, that saber is not going to help us that much. Witch Hunt is a challenging game. Don't expect to walk in the park. Oh, I'm not. If the undead often overwhelm you, the monster shout still can help. Game save progress over time to change location. Don't forget to spend money. That's a. I'm good at that. Uh, the head is the weakest part of most enemies. When the silver crucifix lightning hits a creature, you can temporarily see lightning strike position on your map. Node run and forward buttons. The runner short press the run key while holding to toggle running. You can buy skill books and equipment. Bounty hunter license gives you the ability to earn money. I really think that I need. Oh, you can't kill whispers. That's important. The only option is to avoid them. Hunting requires patience and perseverance. Sacrificial stones completely restore your mana. If your firearm is equipped and loaded, the reload button will show your current ammo count. Alright, so, pretty cool. Um, so, let's take a look here. I shouldn't draw weapons in town. I do agree there. Uh, I'm kind of impressed that, uh, they, that they got that. Because, uh, let's be honest, how many games have you played? Even big name... AAA companies who have just let you wander around with your sword hanging out and people will still talk to you instead of being like, don't point that shit at me. This game uh, is smart enough not to do that. I am actually quite impressed because I'm not going to lie to y'all. This uh, There's a little tension here going on. There's there's I can feel slightly tense already. Yes, yeah, see, I already, already almost jumped. I'm so gonna die so quickly. <laughs> That's um, but kudos to the developer for making a beautiful looking town. I like the lighting. It's the fog is great and it's not overdone. It's just spooky enough. Now I'm curious as to what this is. Okay, so that's save. I'm gonna save. That's that's what we bought a few things. Open the door to the church. And there's the people. You're probably looking for Father Ludwig. Sure. Unfortunately, he got killed by that horrible beast. Oh, shit. That's why I'm looking after the church. I can provide medical help if you need it. Okay, so if the monster heals me, I can come back here. That is interesting. And I know the Bible by heart. Now, that is a feat that I in real life don't even know. And I've read the Bible probably 35 times. This is true. Um, I'm not going to lie to y'all, the hardest chapter is Genesis. You don't know why. You get to the part where so-and-so begets so-and-so begets so-and-so begets so-and-so begets and you will get it very quickly why it's the hardest chapter. So let's take a further little look. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little uh, scared to go <laughs> anywhere. I feel like um, this game definitely is spooky, man. Oh, ooh. I locked it. I don't really think I should be playing around. Okay. I'm sorry, dead person. I really shouldn't be looting you and in real life. I would never do this. And guys, don't don't be dumb enough to do stuff like this in real life. Not cool. But it is a Victorian town. I'm a monster fighter of evil. And as the hero, there are just certain liberties I'm going to have to take. Um, now let's check our inventory. Coin 61. Uh, so we got now more than we started with. I do not like that creepy ass sound. It's just wigging me right out. Um, so I feel like, other than the church, the rest of the buildings in Belleville are not going to help me. Uh, I like that everything is very clearly defined. The fog is nice and creepy. The torches are great because I feel like you feel I feel safer here. You know what I mean? I feel like the uh, the developer did a great job of that. We're going to go one last time and see what I can buy from this tradesman before we set out in our adventure. Um, I've already done... God, I wish I had enough of that metal armor, I'll be honest with you all. Um, when we can, I feel like either the ammo bag is a great investment, uh, I feel like maybe I could do the monster shout. 
from food regeneration to start off with. Oh, which one? I'm gonna go with Monster Shout. I feel like having some auto defense is great if I'm going to be hunting creatures. I also feel like once I start on a path here. Oh no, and clearly they have hung what they believe is a witch here. There's even, I just realized, flies around them. So that's a nice little creepy detail. Um, and you'll have to forgive me for looking around the game for a minute, but normally when I really do a let's play, I like to show you guys as much as I can. So, auto climbing in the game, I like that. Oh no, what's all this good stuff? Silver bullets, more coins. If we're not entirely broke, I'll take it. There's a little gourd there. God, I love Halloween, man. Um, I, I will tell you all a, a secret here about the bones is that nightly I will watch a cheesy horror movie. I have a series from Sci-Fi Channel called Man Eaters. Some of you may know them. You can buy them. They're like three of their cheesy movies to a pack. Uh, my own, what I thought was a whole collection and found out a missing one. Okay, so I can't go that way since the town needs my help. So now I have to decide one of two things. Do I go back to the church and talk or do I go down? I think I go down this path. So let's try this path. Okay, so I can click this and toggle running on and off. I like that. I like running toggle better than just having to hold it down. That's so much smoother. And this home is straight up open, so let's investigate a little. Now this is a part, this is the meat and bones of games like this that I love. Um, even in AAA titles, if there are mods that let me like explore more, or say there are doors that are locked in games and they like add buildings to them and stuff, I download all of them. I love going inside and exploring things, because I think that's part of the fun. When you're going to immerse yourself and lose yourself in that world, oh shit, I broke my lock there. Mew. That, uh, that I want to do that. Um, I wonder how much lockpicks are. Maybe we can go back to the trader and get one, because I feel like something good is in there. A glowstone. I don't know what that does. Let's see what that does. Um, what does a glowstone do? this? Dark by emitting light. Fair enough. Okay, so we can place that. Okay, so I can click on evil cycle tab. Now I don't know if these are hot keyed. Okay, so let's check out the controls here, guys, and see here. So holster weapon is H. That's pretty good. Reload is R, so that's fair. Uh, while well, instead of move, I like that. That's our that's our standard. Uh, uses E. I, I'm very happy with that. And it looks here like the two pistols are 1 and 2, and silver receiver's F, and Victoria's tab. Uh, evil sight is V, and place crucifix is T. So V for evil sight is not uh, shabby, actually. And these are pretty easy layouts. So I might go back to it once during this Let's Play. You may see me, but I don't think I'll have to twice. Um, Let's get our butts back into town for a minute, see what else we can buy. Oh god, I don't think I'm in town. I think I'm not in Kansas. Uh, and I know I'm probably driving on nuts by running back into town. Let's actually hit... Uh, where, where, where is the map? I don't know. Okay, so this way. Yeah, baby, that's creepy. I'm gonna get a lockpick again. Uh, how much is a lock picture? Silver bullets back, da da da, coins 22. We got a fun lock pick, lock pick master book. Oh, but that would be good to have. Shoot, he doesn't have any lock picks for me, so. Alright, guys, we got all we can get. Maybe he did, and I just didn't see it, but I'm, uh, I'm, I'm invested in this game now. I'm interested. I'm exploring. <sighs> I'm not going to lie. My nerves are... Like, my heart is beating really, really quickly here. Um, 
Oh, there's somebody that lives here. I don't know if I should just be busting in their house like this. Maybe they need my help. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. He's polite. I like him. As the mayor of Belleville, oh, he's a mayor. I can guarantee that if you'll really be able to help our town, I'm gonna try, your buddy. doings will be greatly rewarded. All right. You'll have our eternal gratitude. To get to the woods, go across River Bridge. Okay. Be careful. People have seen some undead creatures in those woods. So we are dealing with something much more sinister than just a wild beast. Good luck, and God bless you. Thank you, sir. I like that the mayor is very polite. That was nice. Um, I actually also like that there is a mayor in the town. It makes it feel more uh, as dopey as it may sound. And I know you guys know what I'm talking about. This game has a lot of little great details here already. And I mean, I'm not, I've never even explored that much of it that you don't always... Oh, that's... Our first hint of trouble right there. Right there. Question one. Am I in the woods? I don't know. But I see one last little place we're going to explore before we cross that bridge. This looks like every evil house and every horrible witch story that you've ever read as a kid, and I can't have to open it any luck, but I bet there's something good in there. I wish you could use, like, something to bash that open um, to the developer. This may be a good idea down the road. Maybe make, like, a, say, an alternative to the lactic. Maybe make the guy sell, like, a hammer that has a percentage of breaking. You know, not a great hammer, like a wooden hammer, you know. Maybe you can try to bash a door with it, and it has, it's, oh, you know, not the cheapest item, but has a certain percentage of all that. Let's do this. There are powerful monsters nearby, my heart starts beating, gets a new amount of close time to the mats, and the my heart beats, starts let's start running to identify the direction of the monster. People say that it possesses its ability. It's the blood of an angel runs in my veins. I like that. Uh, and I believe this is letting this load. Not long load time. Oh god. Alright, first off, let's start by giving evil sight a text. Alright, so he is running. I don't know where he's running. Alright, and I don't know if I need to give that skill a rest or not. Hit him with the big one here, eh? That's a dead animal. Aww. My horse! Oh, now I'm pissed. You done goofed, monster. You done goofed. Switching weapons is faster than reloading. Oh, yes! Alright. This is mouse wheel needle for weapon switching. I love that. Because I myself uh, got used to it in FPS games. Thank you, Dev, for putting that in here. I am immediately excited about that. Okay. Now we're going to treat this. I'm whispering a little here like a hunting game. There is a spook right there, isn't there? I did, I just got one, I got one. Okay, something just happened there. How do I open my... How do I open my map? Okay, so that's a journal. Now this is a part that I need to double check again. I told you I'd probably have to check this once. Uh, let me just say this thing now. Okay, Q. Sorry, guys. One thing that I am impressed with is I haven't had to mess with mouse sensitivity. How many games I have to mess with that? Um, so I'm quite happy that I did not. We are going to save it here. Our first kill is done. The first blood is drawn. The game is afoot. Uh, dude, there is a definite sense of foreboding and... 
I'm not gonna lie, this is, uh, creepy. I've played a lot of In the Woods games over the years, and a lot of ones like this. This is probably, without a doubt, tension and atmosphere-wise, one of the best titles I've seen like this. So, it may be early, but I'm gonna go ahead and say this is a recommended buy from Bones here. This is a recommended buy, guys. Um... And I'll tell you why. If you like to be spooked, you like horror movies like I do. Like, I love horror movies. You can't even really pick up the feeling until you play it. But I'd encourage you all to put your headphones on while you watch me play this. Turn the lights off. Jesus. Fucking owl. It scared the hell out of me. And just indulge in that creepy, haunting, in the woods atmosphere that this game does so right. So right. And I'm very happy with that, and I'm very impressed with that. Because, good God, uh, my nerves right now, like my heart is beating out of my chest. In real life, not in the game yet, so I must not be near evil, but I already I'm like worried about being closer to evil. We're tough monster hunter, we're tough monster hunter, we're tough monster hunter, we're tough monster hunter, we can do this. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this, we're a tough monster hunter. Oh god. What was that? Shut up out, shut up out. We're, we're dead. That was a dick. Oh, and I can't open this chest. I feel like they would have done something good there. Yes, coins. Alright. Something. Give me something. I don't even want to stand. <laughs> I feel like if I stand, it's going to know where I am, and I don't want that. So here's what I'm going to do. I need to... Let's duck behind here, so I got a little cover between me and the beastie. I'm going to use beast vision. <laughs> and see if I recognize landmarks here. Okay, there's some stone to the right. Some other stones going on. So it's circling a perimeter somewhere, I feel like. I'm gonna come across it. Taking the game's advice, if I don't hear the heartbeat, speed up, we're gonna go left, right. Serpentine, serpentine, see what I can do. Looked like it was near a stone or brick fence of some sort. Uh, now I don't know if this game is procedurally generated, if it goes on forever, I will look this up after, but I will tell you this. I am loving the feeling of tension and being scared out of my mind. And that may sound crazy to some of you, but those of you who are real horror fans, those of you who love spooky movies, know how hard it is to get scared after you've seen enough of them. I'm 41. I've seen hundreds of horror movies. I grew up in the 80s, man. Like, we were saturated with slasher films, for example. It is hard to make me feel spooked around edge, and this game is doing just that, so it's certainly doing something right now. We're gonna... I don't want to shoot at a stump. I don't know if I'm actually seeing something like that or not. My heart's not beating, though, so I'm gonna trust my heart. See, what a wasted a silver bullet on a stump. That's how jumpy this game has me, that I'm like, right now, the camera's probably not picking up the fact that I'm slightly actually even shaking, and I don't care, you guys can make fun of me all you want, but this game is tense. Tense. Uh, who, buddy? They're even creaking in the trees, for F's sake. So good job, Dev. You you know how to scare people because Oh dude. <laughs> I'm 
I'm uh, genuinely kind of. I cannot say this is the most scared I've ever been because I myself handle paranormal cases in real life. But as far as video games go, this is doing a fantastic job of giving me the tension I was hoping it would, of giving me the experience I hoped it would, that I really am dealing with a living, breathing entity in this game that's intelligent, that's hunting, probably. That was it, I bet. That was it, I bet. Shit. Oh my god. That was some sort of weird Jersey Devil type thing. If you all could feel my heartbeat. Oh, there's a poor puppy in there. Come on. I'm coming back for you, little puppets. Don't you worry. We're rescuing that dog. Why would somebody lock that poor dog up there? I'm not rescuing that dog. Um, I wonder where we get a map from this place. Fuck you, monster! I feel like he's up in the trees at this point. Um, although I don't know, we saw that weird creepy witch. Tip. What if I actually shot a townsperson? They're gonna be mad. <laughs> I hope that's not the case. I wouldn't actually shoot an essential character. Um, I feel like that was more of like a tutorial practice monster so that we could get the feel of shooting. And now we're on underway with the real thing. So things I need to remember not panic about. Switching my gun as fast as I'm reloading. Now we're up on a ridge here, and I see what they mean about patience, because, yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Yes, I could run around willy-nilly and just, oh no, where is he? But I'll, I'm not going to lie to you, huh? it's actually creepier and scarier to me that I have no idea where the hell this thing is, and right now he's just wandering about, and now I'm wandering about, and it's inevitable we're going to meet. But there's this great sense of horrible tension and dread. Oh, buddy. I, uh... I mean, my heart is pounding right now. So this time we're gonna go up here. Dude, I do not like that owl. Shut up, owl. Again, kudos to the developer because Jesus H, this game is so creepy. Uh, oh man, like I, <laughs> I play lots of horror games. I always see horror movies hoping they'll. And now I get the creepy music chicken out. Uh, horror movies don't scare me, and I've seen lots, and it's not like to brag that I'm tough or anything, it's just, you guys know what I mean, after you see a certain paint by numbers, I watch ones at night that are cheesy, just kind of to mellow out, enjoy myself, surround myself in that spooky Halloween spirit, and then goes off to sleep, and then I wake up and go to bed. Um, oh shit, oh shit. What was that? What was going on there? What was that? What did I do? What happened? What happened? Good, get out of there! Get out of there! Run, 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 run! Get out of there! Oh god, there it is! There he is! There he is! Yeah! Oh, I need medicine. No! What is that? Oh god! God, god, god! No! Oh, shit. Oh. Alright. So, lessons we learned in... Play through one. Monsters will gang up on you. We're we going back to the woods here. <sighs> Jesus H man. So I thought the dog was a big monster, but it was not. There was a guy. Okay. 
he was this way. Am I going the wrong way? Am I going back to town? I feel like I'm going back to town by accident. Yeah, okay, we don't want to do that. I'm going to go this way. Do I need to pick up more silver bullets or does my save have them? Okay. Good enough. So I have a different strategy this time, is we're going to try to draw out the dog monster, and then from there deal with the other monster. I don't know what the hell that thing was that had that weird psychic thing. Let me look that up for a minute. Uh, let's see. How's my mana? My mana's alright. Okay. So when I start to get near an area I think has a lot of creatures, I should go ahead and do that. Let's start off and see what's what. I do wish mana regenerated. But, and maybe it doesn't, I don't know. But oh lordy, I'm gonna tell you, this is a spooky game, man. Oh, spooky. Keep behind something. I'm really trying to treat this as I am a real hunter. You can't share that, right? Something to say. I don't want to waste my free piece of fix, though. So something is definitely there, and I think I killed him. Even though it's quicker to reload. Oh shit. Hard, hard to do, man. Um, there are a lot of them. Next time I know I hear that noise, it's time to go and get the crucifix out automatically. I'm not going to waste my time. Please tell me I still have my crucifix. No. Well, that's poop. <laughs> Well, if it's still right place, then I suppose that's also not bad. So now I need to remember which way I'm going from the boat stone. I think I go north. Do I go north or do I go this way? This is why a compass would help. But I can't afford a compass. So the trees and the trees and monsters are. My problem is I'm going to kill them all at once, and I need to be more careful and try to pull them and pick them off one by one. Um, try and get a strategy going here, and that's what we're going to do this round, is see if I can get them. Dude, this is scary. I feel like these are even lesser monsters, like those aren't even the main monster. I feel like the main monster is something bigger. Uh, he's called the Beast after all, so he should be quite huge. But I don't know, is he that weird demonic looking dog? 
uh, is are there just tons of various creatures running around and we gotta get them? Oh boy. Again, my nerves are going batshit crazy. I am. Um, this is the experience I want out of a horror movie that I'm getting out of a game. So that's awesome. Uh, and I can tell you all, The Witch will certainly be one I play a lot, so... And you guys know, if I think a game sucks, I'll tell you. If I think a game's good, I'll tell you. I think this game is great for a horror game. It's not easy, obviously, as you've seen. I got my ass handed to me a few times. But it succeeds where other games, such as Paddy Tried to Hunt Creatures, have failed. For one thing, the graphics are outstanding. The lighting is fantastic, the sound is good. And you very quickly even lose direction in the woods, uh, which I can tell you from camping. Without a compass and a map, it's very easy to do, especially if you're new to a set of woods. You kind of need to learn the area. Uh, for example, a lot of people used to find dead wood, like dead trees. You don't do this to a live tree. They put a little knock with an arrow, which way they've been walking, so they know. Um, other people used to use simple things such as, like I know Native Americans used to use sap to mark trees so they wouldn't hurt the tree, and would stick a stone to it. So a certain stone meant they were in a certain direction. Um, this is true. I'm saying all of this right now, I'm just telling you random tidbits to stop from pissing myself, because good lord, this game is freaky. Uh, dude, I am not exaggerating. Yet. I'm literally dreading the noises this game makes. That's how scary this game is. <laughs> There's the dog. Clean shot. Switch. Wait. Look around. Right, quick, 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 quick. Reload, 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 reload. Quick, 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 quick. Look like money. Now, if I got, like, some points or something for that, that would be good. I don't know how that part works in this game. Um, but I'm not going to lie. I do like that you're not, like, just awarded money. Because where would the dog put it, really? That's something that I think is funny about most games. Is that you kill a monster, you get money. Where are they putting it? They don't have pockets, right? So I like that at least in this game, instead, your word spreads to the town. I could probably actually go back to the town, but I'm telling that one. Oh, clues! I like this, too. So there's a dead sheep that let, lets me know there's something nasty this way. So, uh, yeah, I like that. That's kind of cool. Do not know where that was. So the undead are the things that Okay, even though it wasn't listed, I had a crucifix. So Dev, if you see that, that's something you might want to fix on here. Just uh just to let you know. That is a thing I found. Um, or maybe it's just not listed here for this one, I don't know. But now we got that to back us up. So if we need to run, we can run back to the crucifix and it zap something. In the meantime, let's look for undead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Something's going on there. Alright, we have the holy power! I want to see to the eyes of the creature and see what where it is. He looks like he's up on a hilltop. Looking down, he's looking down. He's, oh no, he's making his way down the damn mountain. Oh god. In the words of Chris Evans, Captain America, I don't like it. 
I do not like it at all. I cannot believe how scary this game is. Uh, for those of you who remember other past games, and I'm not going to name names of them, but you know what I'm talking about. They had you running around woods. They don't have shit on this one. This is the real deal. This is scary. Oh my god, what is going on? Heard something over there. I don't even know if I saw something, and I'm still freaked out. Where the hell was that cross? Oh, <laughs> I don't like this better at all. I don't like it! I don't like it! Holy cow, this is creepy. Ladies and gentlemen, this may be the most scared you have ever seen. Yours truly bones in a let's play. The game genuinely has me on edge. Where I feel freaked out. That is something. But it's a horror game, and it's supposed to be scary, so kudos to the developer, because you're doing your job right then, and I commend that. But seriously, holy cow, it's this game being scary. Um, while I'm standing next to the cross, I'm feeling braver for a moment here. We're just going to take the save route and see what the deal is with it. It's fast, but obviously it's no match for this puppy. Um, if I get in trouble, I need to remember I have that saver. I'm not doing that. I need to. I need to remember that. The one thing I would like if, is to increase my running speed. But then I need to afford boots. There's another dog monster out here somewhere. But I don't see him yet. I need to listen now. So you have to pardon me if I get a little quieter and more serious, guys. I'm just gonna... Where are you? I see one over there. Do you guys see him? I don't know if my flint shot can take the oh god. Is that what I'm hearing? Is that thing? I don't know you fighting that one. There's an undead over there. The undead seem to flock. So I'm trying to kill this other dog thing before they flock. Okay. I don't know why I keep hitting Q for the map. It's doing nothing. I'm finding no salvation there. Yet I keep trying desperately to make a map manifest itself for no reason. Because <laughs> I'm freaked the F out. What is that noise? I swear that it's a dog thing, but I don't see him. I can see the faint light of the cross, and if I can make it to that, it'll zap a monster and I'll be good to go. But, dude, where are you, dog creature? Why do you hide so well? I don't know if I want to do this, but I could be risky and stand up and probably get its attention. Like any real hunter, you want to try and stalk your quarry and get the drop on it. Now, down there is where I saw the undead, so what I'm going to do is go up this hill this way. Try to circle around and snap it in the back of the head from behind. However, I'm not dumb enough to think there are another dog creatures. And if they hear the gun, they're going to come running. I've noticed that. That gun attracts them. Which is the other interesting point in this game, because you have to decide whether or not you're going to shoot or run. Oh, dude, I am not 11. There is no mm -mm -mm, I'm loving it right now. I will tell you all that. Sweet mother Mary. This is scary as can be. There he is. There he is. So how close can I get to him, guys, do you think, before he sees me? Can I hit him from here? 
I'm risking it. I'm gonna get closer. I don't know how good their eyesight is. They're in dead air. The undead is not the creature I'm hunting. I'm hunting a specific creature. I don't know what the creature is, but I know I'm hunting a specific creature. Now, I bought the monster shout skill. I mean, now we're just kind of learning the patterns of the undead, but I don't see him again. You guys see him? I don't see him. Oh, God. I feel like this is good enough turning power. But if I get my ass ticked one more time, I may very well increase it just a tiny bit. I know, I know. It's faster to switch, but while I can. We're using the heavy muscle in this. Oh, fuck me, running. Where was it? Where was it? Oh my god. Now we're officially running. I need to get a little distance between me and the monsters. That thing did a good number out of me. Shame the cross doesn't actually heal. It does actually. Of course it doesn't. What am I talking about? Okay, my life will slowly regenerate. And there's something else I apparently killed, or I can at least get credit for killing. Okay, coins, coins, coins are good. We like coins. Okay. Dude, this is so scary. I can't even lie to you all and say that this game does not have me on edge. This game has me severely freaked out right now. This is a well-made haunting game. I uh, just... Ooh, man. The level of spooky dookie is crazy. It's, it's, it's spooky. But at least... I generate up to about 50. I could do all the way, but I don't want to bore the shit out of you guys. So we'll just... What the hell happened there? That hurt. Now, whatever happened there, that monster just got its ass kicked by the cross, so. Or at least ran from it. However, that means they've been stuck in me. So, maybe let's keep them in and walk around in a circular pattern. Let's see if I can find out what the hell is going to stalk in me. I feel like it's undead again. Or undead. You guys see anything? Of good, but it is not the safer weapon I thought it would be. I don't quite know how to use it. I'm gonna set it down, and apparently it's like an auto thing, but uh, I thought it would kill that monster and so it just ran away. So it'll come back. So I'm just gonna have a quick look around the woods here. I don't want to pull my mouse out a little more for that. Alright. Um, Oh, buddy. I am not in great shape in this game. I feel like I could go down the trail. We're gonna try to go and follow the trail a little. It may not be the smartest choice, but I think somewhere on that trail were medicinal herbs that I could certainly use. So we're gonna try that. And even if I go to town, I can get healed. So we're gonna try that. Um, and just keep going. Back. The downside is walking the trail, I am putting myself out from cover, and that is stupid. 
But where are you? Where are you? Shit. Ugh. Alright. Alright. One last time, good guys. One last time because this game is quite good. I need to check my phone, see how long it's been. Oh yeah. You guys always complain you don't get longer let's plays. Today I guess you do, right? Alright, so there is the stone. Let's take a little walk, see, I think this is in the works. Starts you off with around 19, one in the chamber. So I went backwards. Of course I did. Kind of ironic that so far every single time I've gone backwards. Alright. Uh, so. Impression so far. Definitely an interesting horror game. Very hard. I think I need to be killing less monsters and returning to town to heal more regularly. And uh, I do better. Right now, though, I'm just trying to explore, show you guys the game a bit, learn it myself, see what the mechanics are. I did not like that. Do you hear that noise there? That was a tree branch that just fell. I don't know if it actually really fell, or if that was a sound effect, but either way, uh, I would say that's pretty damn effective, because that gave me pause. So I feel like on the ghouls, the smaller weapon is better. We're gonna try seeing how this flintlock does. Might not have the same tick as the rifle. And then the rifle will be our sniping weapon. This will be our every every use weapon. So we'll try this method instead of my original one. Still not getting any heartbeat. Also, I'm thinking that I only get the eh, the heartbeat from the main monster, which means the other monsters I don't think I get the heartbeat from. Maybe I'm wrong. It could just be the rushing up of me so fast the heartbeat doesn't activate. But I get the feeling there are lots of undead, and then one main monster you have to kill, and then once you've killed said monster, you can go and kill other said main monsters. I might be wrong though, I don't know. Um, but I will say that this one is very creepy. This developer's got another good one too. What is up with that? There's something red and evil over there that I don't like. I feel like it's draining my health. Hearing whispers. I might have to replay this game with headphones on to have Jesus H. I think that means the main monster is close, guys. Is what I'm guessing. Is the main monster is the red thing, and that's what's happening. I don't know. Better that's a warning, like future evil vision type thing. Nope, 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 nope. I don't know what's going on with that, but I don't care for it. So fine, if you're gonna set your there, then I'll set mine here. There it is, that is the, indeed, that is the main monster, so let's... Shit, how do I even kill it? I'm gonna die. That was the one shot right there. We did nothing to it except piss it off. Come closer to the cross. Come closer. Yeah, I didn't beat it. 
So yeah, this is definitely a game that is not easy to beat, as you've seen. Uh, again, I'm going to call it here. Uh, I am Bones. This game is called Witch Hunt. I'll link you to the Steam page down below. If you like spooky games, I would definitely be picking this one up. Uh, even just the, if you like running around the woods trying to find things, uh, if you like the whole feeling of being hunted, you definitely get the feeling that you're being hunted in this game. Not just doing the hunting. Um, very interesting game. Love the visuals. The controls nice and easy. It's all familiar stuff. E to use, you know, the mouse. The mouse will be able to switch between guns. F doesn't feel bad for the doing that, and then just you know, I mean, it's it's pretty fast to switch between all three, as you can see here. And uh, they feel pretty good to use, you know. Okay, so I am right that that one's the bigger the gun, the longer it takes to reload. So that it's also worth noting. Um, now, if you guys have any survival hints for this game, definitely drop them in the comments below, or your thoughts on the game, your comments. And I'm gonna say, if you like horror-related games, you this should definitely end up in your library. This is a pretty neat game. Uh, so this is Witch Hunt. I'm Bones. Thank you guys so much. Subscribe if you haven't. Share us with your friends. Uh, give us a like, and have a good day. Thank you.